In the fall of 1995, the search continued for Glenn Rogers. Police believed he fled California after killing a woman there on September 28th. A tip led to a Mississippi motel, but Rogers had disappeared before police arrived. Police issued an APB locally. They hoped someone would spot the suspected killer before he left the area. Days later, on November 3rd, 1995, Jackson, Mississippi detectives responded to a murder. Family members had found Linda Price dead in her bathtub. The 34-year-old single mother had been stabbed repeatedly and her throat had been slashed. Investigators searched the apartment for evidence. Technicians photographed the scene and lifted numerous latent fingerprints. They found no murder weapon. No valuables seemed to be missing. There was no apparent forced entry, and the killer had locked the door when leaving. The details of the crime scene led Jackson homicide detectives to conclude Linda Price had been killed by someone she knew. In the morning, they interviewed her mother. Perhaps she knew the killer as well. She said her daughter had a new boyfriend. His name was Glenn Rogers. A month earlier, on October 3rd, Linda had met Rogers at the Mississippi State Fair where he had been working. He was charming, and Linda fell for him right away. They soon rented an apartment and moved in together. At first, Linda seemed happier than ever, but recently she wondered if she'd made a mistake. She told her mother that Rogers had a bad temper and she feared his mood swings. When Linda stopped calling and didn't answer her apartment door, her mother believed that Rogers had harmed her. Again, Rogers was nowhere to be found. Jackson detectives believed he had left the area. They entered his name into the NCIC database. Learning Rogers was wanted for murder in California, they contacted Detective Mike Koblenz in Los Angeles. Jackson, Mississippi at that time contacted me, informed me of a murder they had, and they wanted more information on Glenn Rogers as he was a possible perpetrator in that case. The murders followed a pattern. The victims in California and Mississippi had both been charmed by Rogers. They had been isolated from others, then brutally killed just before Rogers fled the area. The investigators believed that Rogers was on a rampage that probably would not stop until he was found. <laughs> 